Hi, my name is Onza and welcome to Blues Junction. This is probably the first time in a while that I play City Skylines with like money and milestones because I've been used to like building everything that I want. This is going to be a uh, semi gameplay and build series, so I'll try to make a working city and a good looking city, which is basically the two biggest challenges when I have not really a lot of money right now. So, for the past few weeks, I think, I think. Yeah, past few weeks, I had some issues with, like, trying to get mods to work. Then the airport's DLC dropped, so I had to get different mods. S and I ditched, like, all the bloody pink penguin mods, like, prop anarchy, tree snapping. Basically, those prop and tree mods for those extended managers library mods which are actually like simpler i think and i had to wait for those new like for new mods basically and then ipt2 stopped working so i had to switch to tlm which I am still learning so there might be some like not exactly the best usage of the mod so yeah I also got some music packs because I started to hate the vanilla like soundtrack because of the like empty city it's just so annoying so I just switched and downloaded CSL music so I can listen to open TTD music which is something that I like but enough of my bitching and moaning and complaining about mods let's build something so the city is named Blues Junction this name was suggested a while ago on the final episode of New Manchester that I did and I'm finally using it for something. And yeah. We'll start the city by the typical way most build, like people who do it, the most skilled players do it, I think. Is the good players do it like with dirt roads, so they save up money. I will. But the different thing is, I'll be plopping the buildings because I'm too bad at like norm those zoning and I'm not patient enough. So I'll just plop all those buildings because. This is like the historical part. So... I'll upgrade it then to like a narrow road. This is like the part that was built a long time ago. Like when the city was founded. So it was like when the people first came into this area.
yeah this will take a while so i'll cut the video here and i'll be back when i build it so i'm back i finally built this also now i'll add like these substations they are pretty neat because they cost virtually not nothing so i'll slap one right here and then when it comes to water water town yeah I, this is kind of bugged because the ground like all shows up as polluted which is weird but then so yeah. I think it's probably something with the map or one of my mods conflicting so I had to use like pollution solution so I know where it is and where it isn't so yeah. now to deal with water And to separate the pollution so it's not near our citizens, we'll put the start of an industry area here. So, for now, there will be only the water purifier. How much does it cost? 480 and 6,000. 320. Okay, I'll use this. I mean, it'll cause some bad press, but that's fine. And would you look at that? Our city is already becoming car dependent. I mean... There is nothing we can really do at this point. I'm going to turn off snapping here. Elevate these wires. I like leading the wires near the roads because it looks like they have been built along with the modern roads or something. Also it gives us one more excuse to build another substation. Now, if we accelerate time, we can wait for people to show up, and in a short while, we'll be, we will beat the first milestone. Oh, and there is still not enough, like, population to sustain this place. And not enough, like, economic things happening here, so... Yeah. We'll prepare this for future expansion and add some commerce. Here, I actually use vanilla stuff because... The only like vanilla assets that 
really annoy me are those like really just cartoonish the assets like those large shops or those really tall buildings because they don't really look like they don't look good in the place so now we're building a strip mall I like to have like some space between the buildings so it's like there is like you know loading base and stuff And also here a gas station because most cities have to have a gas station. A gr something that looks between a grocery store and a car dealership. And also a quiet corner shop somewhere in here because Every neighborhood needs a small shop. And now our city is slowly starting to come to life. Now there is high demand for industry. So, time to upgrade to. Industry should have like paved roads because you know it's industry. Oh, and I don't have like yeah, I like to play with disabled dynamic like day night cycle because it makes tougher, harder to build. I might later turn it on for like cinematics or something. I don't know. So now it's time to put industry in here. This is a small town so probably only like ultralight industry. And those are actually like British units but most of these light industries look pretty similar at least they do look similar to me I'm not like an industry expert These smaller ones are usually better for like decreasing d demand quickly, I think. Yeah, I'm plopping until we get like two districts and I can just have district styles because then we can just zone it
I don't have in the I also don't have the industries DLC so I'll have to cheese the game in different ways so I actually make money and don't just immediately go bankrupt I mean right here the city is like getting pretty big but still there isn't really much profit also how much does this cost upkeep 124 well this costs 0.19 so still not for us The great thing about the Industries DLC is that when you unlock those Industry Roads, those are like dirt cheap. I might actually learn to make assets to make something similar to them, but more... You know those like concrete panel roads that are in like construction sites and so those I might try to learn to make assets so I can have some cheap roads <sighs> now time to add more like similar shops Oh wait, I have repaint. This can be like one larger shop building. Copy. Paste. Yeah, I'm also using like life cycle rebalance. A lot of mods, really. To just. Oh boy. We're in trouble. Yeah, I am using a lot of those, like, that kind of changed up the simulation, so. There is like different factors in there because sometimes the vanilla simulation is just like really odd. Like the vanilla sims have like ultra short lifespans, they live like three years or something. And I actually want to have a challenge for my city's. And yes, we have the little hammer finally. And I want to actually to have some challenge with my like elder care and stuff because and actually have some use for like more citizens and not as much death waves because let's just say death waves are freaking annoying. At least Everyone has probably experienced it at least once. You just build a giant residential area, have it on pause, and then everyone moves in, and then your death care system just fails because there's no one to take the dead to cemeteries. Now we'll have to deal with waste disposal. Fortunately, how much does this cost? 24. This costs 240, 160. But this can be profitable after a while. So we'll use this. 
I don't know why are they complaining because it'll just give them more resources. 400, 400. How much does this cost? 400. Yeah, I'll wait a bit. Now for school. 160, 160, 160. This also, yeah. So there isn't really much this difference. Only in like capacity. And this is the largest one. So obviously I'm going to use this one f because of its high capacity. But also I want to have it look nicer. So I'm going to add like a small, I think it's called a frontage road. I don't know, I'm not good with those things. And then add the school here. So there is like the traffic to the school can take a detour. Also disable the parking here or like fire services. Also, we don't need that much. Oh, and electricity. This is too expensive. So it's time for another substation. Like probably the school would have a substation anyway. Or like it's computer lab or something. But with like smaller wires going to it because it's not like getting the primary power or something. I know I'm I'm not an expert on these things. And this does connect, but weirdly so. Yeah, I'll just leave it like this. And also I'm going to leave the video here. So, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe. I'll s and I'll see you probably next week when I make another episode. So... If you enjoyed, like, like and subscribe, stick your thoughts in the comments because I need some like ideas for how to name this small part of town because I want to have it more like with regions and stuff. A bit like how City Planner Place does it with Clearwater County and how $2.20 does it with like Ocean Oceania and Mile Bay, you know, like with huge regions and interconnected towns with each speci being specialized in something. So, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the domain.